if you're looking up how to add two routers to one home network, that's a great idea if you already own two routers and you just want to make use of both of them. But if you're planning on going out and buying equipment, like if you want to go buy two routers or if you already have one router and you're planning on going to buy another router, uh, this video might help you out because I might be able to save you some money because buying another router may not be the best option for you. So instead of buying another router, what you can do is buy a switch like this one. Uh, this is just a basic unmanaged switch. It's basically just more ports. Uh, you just plug this into that and then you have more ports to add. It's kind of like, it's, the way it's different from a router is this is all it is is ports. It doesn't have Wi-Fi. Uh, it doesn't, there's no administrative interface. There's nothing to log into. There's no settings to change. It's literally just physical ports. It's all it's useful for. And what you want to look for is unmanaged. So you see this one says five port gigabit ethernet unmanaged switch. The unmanaged part, that's the important part that is gonna keep your costs low. You want an unmanaged switch. This one says down here, gigabit ethernet unmanaged switch. A managed switch is gonna be more, it's gonna cost more because there's settings, there's a, there's a interface you could log into, there's different options you can use, but really all you need is the ports. You don't need any of the extra stuff. All you need is an unmanaged switch. And this one, it cost me less than 25 bucks at Walmart. I think this was like 23.95 or something way cheaper than buying another router. Now, uh, I, this doesn't have Wi-Fi on it, so it's only this option is only good if you have wired devices. So let's go ahead and open this up and show you what this is about and how it works. So the switch, it kind of looks like a router. It kind of looks like a mini router. The, the difference is, well, there's a technical difference that, uh, IT professionals are aware of, but basically it doesn't have all the fancy stuff that routers have on it. It doesn't have Wi-Fi, it doesn't have a DHCP server, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's basically, it's, it's these ports and nothing else. It doesn't provide any services or anything. So how this works is you have your router, just pretend this router is plugged in and working and everything. So you take a LAN cable and you plug one end into the back of your router Yes, I know everyone's gonna give me crap about this plastic. This is not the router I normally use. So don't worry about the plastic. And then the other end, you plug into the switch, any port that you want. So what that does, you also wanna plug in power, it needs power. So you plug the power in here with one hand. So you got the power plugged in, so you got your cable, one end, in one of the ports in the router, and then the other end goes into your switch. This could be as long as you want, up to 300 meters. Sorry, 300 feet, I believe it's 300, 300 feet and 100 meters, I believe is what it is. But anyways, so now what this does is, it gives you kind of extra ports. So it takes away one port on your router, so now you have three ports left on your router where you can plug stuff into, wired devices, and then it connects to the switch over here, and now you have four extra devices. So this also works if you just wanna add extra ports to your router, you can just add this without buying an entirely new router. This, again, this costs less than 25 bucks. So now, instead of having only four ports, now you have three left here, and now you have four over here. So now you have seven ports in total. So just imagine and this in place of a second router, in another room. You can run this to another room and plug four devices in here and you don't need to buy a whole different router because who knows how much you're going to spend on a router. 50 bucks, 80 bucks, 100 bucks. You could spend $300 on a router. Who knows? This, these ports are just as good as the ports on here. These are gigabit ports and the ports on the switch are also gigabit ports. You can tell because on the box it's a gigabit ethernet unmanaged switch. Now, if you're trying to save money and all you want is the extra ports, you don't care about the settings and configuration and all that, because I know in my other video when I explain how to connect two routers, then you gotta go into the router and disable DHCP and there's settings you gotta change, there's IP addresses you gotta change. You don't have to do any of that with a switch. The switch, 
there is nothing to log into. There's no administrative page. There's no password. There's no reset. Like there's no settings on here. All it is is ports. So it's 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 a it's a stupid device. It's a dumb device because it doesn't. There's no configuration whatsoever. And I know there's no configuration because it's an unmanaged switch. That's what that's the key word, unmanaged. If you buy a managed switch, then a managed switch actually has settings and all kinds of stuff that you can configure and change. It's more advanced. You don't really need it. All if you just if all you care about is plugging physical devices in and you want them to be fast and efficient, these are gigabit ports. These are gigabit ports and they're connected. So it's all gigabit. It's not. It's not slower. It's 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 the same speed as these ports. It's just as good. It's better than Wi-Fi, in my opinion, because Wi-Fi is. It works at half duplex. This works at full duplex, meaning can, it can, every port can send and receive data at the same time. So, this buying a switch is a, an unmanaged switch is a much more cost-effective way to add wired devices to your network without buying you know without spending you know 80 90 100 bucks on another router you can just spend 23.95 plus tax and get something like this if all you care about is wired devices another thing i want to point out is here i know you probably noticed that this is a netgear switch and i also have a netgear router that makes absolutely no difference. A switch is a switch is a switch. It doesn't matter if it's Linksys or if it's Belkin or if it's, you know, it doesn't matter. The, the brand does not need to match. Just any switch is a switch. And also I want to point out that, okay, let's see, when you're plugging a cable into here and you plug the other end into your switch, you're kind of taking a port away. So if you're, depending on how many uh, wired devices you need, so you only have, you know, one of these is dedicated to the switch. So that means you only have three. And then over here, you have four available. So that gives me seven total. So if you need more than seven ports, uh, you might want to buy two switches or it's possible to buy bigger ones. You can buy like eight or 10 port switches or uh, maybe it's nine. It might be four plus four and then one for the trunk. But, uh, you can buy more than a switches with more ports than this. So don't think that this is your only option. I just don't want you to buy this uh, five port switch and then find out that you need more than seven devices because you only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So again, there are eight port switches and the brand doesn't matter. In fact, now that I'm looking at the manual, you can see that they have another version of this same switch. I didn't see this one at my Walmart that I was at, but uh, there's a five port and an eight port gigabit ethernet unmanaged switch. Now I want to just want to emphasize one more time, if the goal is to save money without understanding all the technical differences, all you have to make sure is that it's unmanaged. Unmanaged is the key word you're looking for if you if all you're caring about if all you care about is the ports again it's, it's a gigabit and these are also gigabit so that means they're, it's not like slower than the router it's just as good as the router so the you want a gigabit which it's hard to find something that's not gigabit so that part is not really important it, pretty much any switch you grab is going to be a gigabit switch but you just want an unmanaged switch you don't need all those extra fancy uh, extra fancy features of a managed switch. It's, it's complicated, and I mean, if you're interested in it, obviously go ahead and do the research. And but for this video, an unmanaged switch will give you extra ports on your router, and it's cheaper than buying a whole another router if you're not interested in Wi-Fi in your other area or whatever. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I got more videos too. Check those out. Thank you very much for watching. You have a great day.